Hello everyone, I'm Ernie and I am so glad you're here with us today. We are on our way to the Sagecoach Mill on another windy day. Today we are going to take 10 pounds of wash tailings from the Kamikaze mine and see what type of precious metals we get from the tailings. These tailings came from two separate projects that we had previously done. The assay report for the Kamikaze mine reports that there is not much gold in the crystals in the Kamikaze. But what I want to know, is there any gold inside the ore besides the crystals in the Kamikaze mine? And that's what this test is all about. Before we crush our tailings, we are going to clean out our rock crusher by blowing out any ore that was left in there from the previous projects we had done. This test is very important to me, and I just don't want any contamination from a previous project. For today's project, we're going to stay with our 3 8 of an inch mess screen. It's always good practice to do a visual inspection of your rock crusher before you use it. And you can check to make sure that the chains are in good condition so that there will not be any damage as you're doing your crushing. Since I used my 3 8 of an inch mess screen in my rock crusher, it did not crush the ore to the way I wanted it. So at this point, I'm taking my 1 8 of an inch mess screen and I am classifying out the larger material. Here is what we have classified out and let's go weigh it up. The wind is blowing about 22 miles an hour and the bucket just can't sit still. We have just about three pounds of oversized ore. So that means we have seven pounds of ore that we are working with to get our precious metals out of the tailings. I have three and a half pounds of crushed ore in each of my gold pans. And now we will pan this out and we will find how much precious metals we get out of the tailings from the Kamikaze mine.
as you take a close look inside of here you can see some pieces of gold and also I think I see some wire electrum and some pieces of silver. Here is our concentrate that is combined that's with our gold and what I believe is some electrum. I'm not going to take the time to smelt this and to pull out the gold because the purpose of this test was to see if there was any gold inside the wash tailings and there is and I am satisfied with the results of this test. Well, this wraps up this episode of us getting our gold out of this ore. And I am pleased about the amount of gold that we did get out of this seven pounds. The assay report did say that there is not much gold in the crystals itself, but I think it was pretty good. And uh, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think and let me know if we should pursue getting more of these tailings and, and getting the gold out of it if you think it will be worth our time time and effort and once again I'm so thankful that you're here and if you enjoyed this episode smash that like button share this on your channel so others can enjoy the experience and if you haven't subscribed to our channel I would like to encourage you to subscribe and to become part of our AU family we would love to have you in the family and to communicate with you we are so thankful that you're here and we deeply appreciate your support and we will see you on the next one one.